にちは皆さん。お元気ですか ?Hello, how are you?Today, カルテビデオ number 72 and I'm going to talk about injuries.Then, injury is very, I think it's useful to learn these vocabularies not only for karate but all kind of martial arts but not only martial arts also any sports and even just we are living here And, and it's very easy to have some kind of injuries or some kind of physical problems. So let's learn these vocabularies. The first vocabulary is injury. Injury, we say kega. Kega. And this part is in kanji. Kega. And to make the verb, only we add kega o shimas. Kega o shimas. That means to get injured. Or if I, you, you, I want to say, I got injured. Kega o shimashita. Kega o shimashita. And this o, you can, you can say, Kega shimashita. Or Kega o shimashita. In both ways, it's okay. Now, very useful expression to learn when you've got some kind of pain. I've got pain in some place. Well, we say, itai, itai, itai desu, itai. It means, I've got pain, itai desu, I've got pain in some place here. Some place, ga, ga, itai desu. For example, if I have a pain in my legs, I can say, ashi, ashi's legs, ashi, ashi ga itai desu. If I got a pain in the shoulder, shoulder, we say, kata, kata ga itai desu. Kata ga, oof, kata ga itai desu. If I got a pain in my knees, hiza, hiza ga itai desu. Hiza ga itai desu. And if I got a backache, senaka, senaka is the back. Senaka ga itai desu. 背中が痛いです。And if my pain is in the lower back, I've got a lower,、um, the lower back pain, I've got a pain in the lower back, 腰。腰が痛いです。腰が痛いです。In previous videos, we saw lots of vocabularies about the part of the bodies. So any kind of part of bodies, and が痛いです。It means I have a pain in this place. If you are learning Japanese, you know adjectives. There are two kinds of adjectives in Japanese e adjectives and na adjective. Actually, this itai, this is e adjective. So if I want to say,、mm, I didn't have any, I don't have any pain, it means itaku nai desu. Itaku nai desu. I don't have any pain. Itaku nai desu. And In the past tense, itakatta desu, itakatta desu, or itaku nakatta desu. I didn't have any pain, itaku nakatta desu. So, itai, this is adjective in Japanese. One of the very, very common injuries is sprain, right? Sprain. We say, nenza, nenza. And the verb, nenza, shimasu. And the very common place is the ankle. Ankle, we say, ashikubi. Ashikubi. You know, ashi is the leg. And kubi, it means neck. So, neck of the leg, this is ankle. So, ashikubi wo nenza shimashita. Ashikubi wo nenza shimashita. It means I sprained my ankle. Or I've twisted my ankle. Ashikubi wo nenza shimashita. The other very common, common injury is bruise, right? For example, ah, he got a bruise on the shoulder. We say, daboku, daboku. This is bruise, daboku. I think this one is very easy for you to learn it. Well, this is jammed finger or sprained finger. We say, tsuki yubi, tsuki yubi. Well, tsuki, tsuki, 
this is just like I, we practice tsuki, right? And also you say, for example, chokuzuki, gyakuzuki, and there we say ch- uh, chokuzuki with zuki because there's some other word before, then we pronounce zuki, chokuzuki, gyakuzuki. But if there's nothing before, we say tsuki. So tsuki, tsuki, so you know tsuki. And yubi, yubi, it means fingers. Fingers is yubi. So tsuki yubi, it means sprained finger or jammed finger. The verb to swell or to inflame. We say haremas, haremas. But if you are studying Japanese, you know hare, it means good weather, fine weather. So ashita haremas. Tomorrow it's gonna be the very good weather, fine weather. But th- that same pronunciation, hare, but the kanji is different, and this one it's not good weather. Hare, this means to inflame, to swell. Kanji with this one here, like tsuki, is like the moon, but this one it means the meat, the body meat. And this right part, it is heavy, omoi. So the, the part of the meat, of the body, is heavy. If it's heavy, it is like to swell, to swell. Well, haremas. But if it is just now, it is swollen, then we say harete imas. Harete imas. For example, oh, mega harete imas. The eyes got swollen, or maybe hiza knees. I've got the knees swollen. Hiza ga harete imas. Hiza ga harete imas. Broken bone or fracture. This is kosetsu. Kosetsu with a jump sound. Kosetsu. But this first kanji we can pronounce. Here we pronounce ko. But also we can pronounce kotsu with tsu, big tsu. And if only one kanji, we pronounce hone. Hone. Hone, it means bone, bones. And here we pronounce setsu, but we can also pronounce o, like orimas. Orimas, it means mm, I break something like this. Plaf, plaf, I break something. Or Sometimes like a fold, fold. For example, maybe you know origami. Origami is folding paper. That same o, origami. But if you fold your bones or if you break your bones, this is kosetsu. Kosetsu. For example, ashi o kosetsu shimashita. I broke my legs. Ashi o kosetsu shimashita. Oh, I've got a broken leg. So, kosetsu is a broken bone. Wound. Wound. Wound, we say kizu. Kizu. Wound. So, kizu ga arimasu. I've got a wound. Kizu ga arimasu. Or there's a wound. Or I've got a wound. Kizu. Kizu. Shuketsu. Shuketsu. This means bleeding. Bleeding. Shuketsu. Well, this first kanji, shu, here we pronounce shu, but, but also we can pronounce like de, da in many ways, this kanji. But if we say the verb demas with this kanji, demas, it means to go out, to go out, demas. And the second kanji, second kanji this, here we pronounce ketsu, but we can also pronounce chi. Chi it means blood, chi. So, go out blood. Go out blood. Shuketsu, bleeding, bleeding. And if I want to say like the verb, shuketsu shimasu, to bleed. Shuketsu shimasu. Shuketsu shimasu. Or if now it is bleeding now, shuketsu shite Oh, shuketsu shite Faint, to faint, we say memai, memai. Well, we, we use this kanji of me, 
the eye. So it is memai. It is like the eye is like uh, like this. Everything is like go round and round. I'm feeling faint. I'm feeling faint. Mm. This is memai ga shimas. Memai ga shimas. I'm feeling faint. Mm. To lose consciousness. To lose consciousness. We say in both ways. Kizetsu shimas or ki o ushinaimas. Well, ki, the both, we use this ki. Ki, it means very important energy that we've got inside of ourselves. Ki. So the core energy, this is ki. And kizetsu, and this one, it means, uh, we can also pronounce taimas, it is finish. Finish. So finish this energy. Finish this core, very important energy. If, if it finishes this energy, we, I fall, I just fall unconsciousness because I lose this energy. Or ki o ushinaimasu. Ki o ushinaimasu. Ushinaimasu, this is the verb to lose. So to lose this ki, lose this powerful energy, it means the same. Kyo mm, ushinaimas to fall unconsciousness, to lose consciousness. Kizet shimas, kyo ushinaimas. Laxation or dislocation. This is dakyu, dakyu. The first kanji, that, here we pronounce that. But also we can pronounce nu. It comes from the verb nugimas. Nugimas it means to take off, to take off clothes. So nugimas, so, to take off. And q. Look at this kanji. This is very very similar to white. Shiro, shiro. But it's a little bit different. Shiro we write one, two, three from here. Three. And everything together four five but in this case there's space here so one two and three from here with space three four and space five and six this is the Q the Q dislocation for example very common place is a shoulder katao dakyu shimashita Kata o dakyu shimashita. It means I dislocated my shoulder. Oh, my shoulder is dislocated. Dakyu. When you keep the seiza position for a long time, many times I think you think, you feel that your legs and your feet are asleep. They went to sleep. <laughs> we say something ka. Shibirete imas. Shibirete imas. Shibirete imas. For example, Ashi ga shibirete imas. Ashi ga shibirete imas. Oh, I don't feel anything. My feet went to sleep. <laughs> My feet are asleep. Ashi ga shibirete imas. I have a cramp in my leg. I say, Ashi ga tsurimasu. Ashi ga tsurimasu. So if you change this word ashi instead of ashi, other thing, te ga tsuremasu. I have a camp in my hand, so you can change. But ashi ga, tsuri, ashi ga tsurimasu. Ashi ga tsurimasu. This is I have a leg camp. If this is just right now, ashi ga tsurete imasu. Ashi ga tsurete imasu. Muscle pain, muscle pain or stiffness. This is kinnikutsu, kinnikutsu. In the previous video, I, I talked about kinniku, kinniku. This is muscle, kinniku. And here, this tsu. Today we, we learn this one. Something ga itai. I've got a pain in this place. I've got a pain itai. 
So the same kanji, itai, itai, it means painful, painful, or pain, the same kanji, tsu, the different way to read. This is itai, but it is tsu. So kinniku tsu, muscle, pain, just like that, muscle, pain, or muscle, stiffness. Today we've learned a lot of vocabularies about injury. I think it's very important to know it for every uh, every person, everybody who practice karate or who practice all kind of martial arts and sports. But even if you don't practice anything, it's very easy to get injured. So I think it's very important to know these vocabularies. If you think this video was useful, please give me a like. And if you didn't subscribe my channel yet, please do it. And even more, if you can, you can share my videos with your friends, that will help me a lot. Well, now I'm gonna talk all the time in Japanese so that you just, you can listen to it. いかがでしたか今日は怪我についていろいろな言葉を勉強してきました。これは武道家のためだけでもなく様々なスポーツをやっている場合、そしてスポーツをしていなくてもつい怪我をしてしまいますから、こういう言葉を知っているのはとても便利だと思います。もしこのビデオが気に入ってくださったら、ぜひぜ